Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Monday, SpaceX successfully launched their 30th mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 646. One, you just pull power and lift off. Go south and go south. The booster which launched this mission, B-1078, then landed successfully for the eighth time on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Tomorrow or Friday, depending on where you are, we should see another Starlink launch. The Starlink 718 mission is currently scheduled for Friday 29th at 2.30 a.m. UTC or tomorrow, Thursday 28th at 10.30 p.m. EST. The following day, we can hopefully expect to see a customer mission launch. The UTELSAT 36D mission is currently scheduled for Saturday 30th at 9.52 p.m. UTC or 5.52 p.m. EST. We could also see another Starlink mission launch just hours after that. The Starlink 645 mission is currently scheduled for Sunday 31st at 1am UTC or Saturday 30th at 9pm EST. Heading to Boca Chica, work continues on the orbital tank farm as they prepare for Flight 4. Work continues on the Star Factory expansion with panels and windows being added. Work also continues on the assembly of Launch Tower 2 sections. Here's a look also at the work continuing on the structure of the new office building. On Monday, SpaceX performed a static fire test with all six of Ship 29's Raptor engines. SpaceX posted a video of Ship 29's static fire and said full duration static fire of all six Raptor engines on Flight 4 Starship. Here's a look at Starship 31 continuing to be worked on in the high bay. A scrapped Booster 4 section was seen being moved at Starbase. Finishing up the video today, there was a closure scheduled for today that was used for a second Ship 29 static fire test. Additionally, there is also a possible closure for tomorrow, Thursday 28th. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, otherwise known as Boca Chica Gal and Sean Doherty for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.